Hello all. In this video, we will see uh, about routines in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Uh, so we will see what are routines and how this will helpful and uh, uh, and one of the use case uh, for routines. So what exactly uh, routine is nothing but uh, so as a, as a user uh, we might need to do some repetitive tasks a daily or frequently uh, weekly monthly something like this. So what what uh, what we need to do is uh, either we need to update manually or somehow we need to automate. So uh, uh, so before this routines we have workflows and uh, schedule process to automate this. Suppose if we want to create a, a particular user uh, daily one task. So uh, daily uh, a task will be created against a user or against an account or against a, a, a particular opportunity. So this is a repetitive task. So uh, either uh, some schedule process or uh, somehow a workflow uh, so can create uh, this particular uh, uh, regular task. So, <clears throat> uh so so in the same uh, way so routines can helpful to create this automate tasks in easiest way so without any um, without any coding uh, without any um, additional uh, uh, settings okay uh, so for that uh, first we should go to application composer uh, without sandbox so once we go to application composer under common setup we can see routines so just click on that routines <clears throat> so this routines is built uh, on a um, redwood ui uh, so so it's uh, it's completely based on a uh, new uh, redwood theme so this is how the ui will will look like and here uh, we can see all the existing uh, routines that are created uh, in this application. Okay, so this routines will be available uh, whoever is having uh, sufficient privileges like an administrator. So the status will indicate whether this particular routine is active or not active or other state and this is a, a routine name and for which object and the trigger point and then uh, so some of the fields will tell uh, when it is updated when it is uh, last ran date okay uh, then uh, in actions we can see some of the edit option and pass view options so so now uh, one of the use cases, like if we want to update uh, uh, a field uh, in opportunity for some criteria, right? What what we can do is we can take we can just create uh, uh, routine. So opportunity status update to uh, close it. Okay, put some description. Then click next. So, <clears throat> uh, routine will have these act, these uh, steps. Uh, totally uh, three to four five uh, three to four steps. Where first step will enter basic details about name. That's it. And actions. So, what action should perform uh, in which object and rules which record set we need to take and trigger point is nothing but the schedule. So here I'll select opportunity. So by default, uh, most, most of the objects are supported, uh, including custom objects. So I'll select opportunity object. <clears throat> 
once we select opportunity object in the action types we can see uh, three options field update send email create task so as of now these are the only uh, actions available uh, field update and send email creating task and that too if we if we select a different object uh, we might see only few actions <clears throat> suppose um, if i select partner so i am seeing only field update i am not seeing other uh, option so uh, so it is object specific so so depending on the availability so we need to uh, use as per that uh, availability so here i'm uh, i'm i'm uh, taking uh, it as a uh, field update and i'll choose uh, status so i'll choose uh we'll make it lost <clears throat> and lost reason so so this is one of the action okay so winner's loss reason is also uh, uh, available value so once we select this action so we can select the remaining uh, if any other task uh, any other action types available we can select that also but uh, so once we select the email and next uh, action will be only uh, create task will be available because it's already selected and anything regarding uh, if you want to add additional fields you can just add here using uh, add another uh, rule okay in action type also we can choose uh, to whom uh, we can send so by default uh, it specifies on it, it gives only uh, related um, fields okay uh, currently it it doesn't support any uh, like uh, default value or uh, default um a uh, two address so we can't give manually uh, email address and in the cc we can uh, in in cc also we we can't give so we can just select the available uh, uh, available fields only as a uh, two address and in the subject right so we can uh, we can we can write something um, uh, dynamically using the fields uh, like like a temp templates like email templates we can uh, we can insert <clears throat> suppose uh, opportunity name uh, so like this we can just insert the available fields from the attributes and similarly we can um, we can make uh, we can choose body also as a dynamic with uh, with the fields available here so once we uh, select this actions okay so then um, then uh, then third step is uh, rules <clears throat> so here we 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 did what action should perform for that record for the set of records but what are that set of records so that we will specify in in step 3 rules so these rules we will specify um, for opportunity so which which record should be taken so here we have um, basically we have uh, groups so within that group we have uh, 
uh, if we have kind of a rules. Suppose um, in assignment rules and all, uh, in the assignment rules, so we will have uh, only and condition. So within the uh, condition, we might we 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 can um, we can have uh, uh, so it it will be either and or or condition. But using this option uh, in in this uh, particular rule setup, so we can make it uh, and and or conditions also. <clears throat> so suppose um, so here I have uh, one one group. Uh, I'll say opportunity less than something hundred. Okay, so this is one one group, and I'll add one more group. So that is uh, uh, I'm selecting some random values. Okay. So, so now, uh, now these are the two groups. So here, uh, these are actually two sets. So one set is amount less than hundred, and another set is opportunity type equals to new. So we now we can specify. So uh, uh, which set of records we can take? Either. Uh, this conditions and then the, the, these conditions uh, so for that we can choose include all groups if you want to take any one of the uh, group okay so then we can choose include any group um, so that uh, the records met uh, any one of the uh, group will be considered here we can also add few more fields Okay, so like this, we can add few more fields. So uh, once we select this criteria, immediately it will show the uh, criteria met the records, the number of records met with this criteria. So based on that, also we can just uh, estimate something, uh, how many records satisfied with this condition, and uh, in the same way, so uh, for the in total, how many records met. Uh, to to perform these actions, so that it will show here. So with this conditions, uh, it it doesn't it doesn't meet any uh, records. So I'm proceeding. And next option is trigger. So trigger is nothing but the schedule point. So this is a, one of the important steps. So. Uh, uh, we need to note something here uh, that is uh, first we first of all we should uh, uh, check uh, in which uh, trigger point it will work daily weekly or monthly or yearly so mostly it will be uh, daily weekly monthly uh, we might not be using yearly basis uh, for most of the things but it depends so so once we select here daily or weekly or monthly, so how the system will uh, uh, process. So since we don't have uh, the specified option, uh, like we don't have a time uh, specified time here, so how the system will uh, assign or how the system will schedule this. So uh, the routines will use in, in background ESS process. So once we set a daily option here, and then if we uh, submit this process, the system will check uh, the availability. So if we, um, uh, so we, so there is no uh, other configuration from our side to do. So the system will identify uh, some some available time slot if we select daily. So system will system will itself will pick up that 
time slot and the system will run on that particular time. So whatever is the available time slot, so system will pick up it. In the same way for weekly also. Uh, so, so we don't know like which time slot is available and which I, this process will, uh, when it will be uh, running. So, but it will be running in, uh, if, we, if we schedule um, daily, it will run anytime in the, uh, in that day. Uh, one time, once in a day, it will run and same day, uh, same way uh, for weekly, uh, monthly. So, uh, so in the review, uh, we can just see the, all the changes, what we did. And after that, just click on submit. So once we uh, submit, a confirmation will be uh, shown um, and then routine will be created. So after creating this routine, we can check uh, in the view, okay, when it is, uh, when it is ran and what are the, uh, if any errors, uh, so it will show all the details here after running. So previously I have uh, scheduled one um, uh, routine and it was scheduled. So, and it, um, so it ran, I submitted on, uh, I, sub I submitted 19th. So then it, it ran uh, the, the, from the ne next day. And then it uh, it shows how many records uh, met with that criteria, and then a status is uh, a status is complete, completed. So if any records failed, it will show here with the reason. So this is how um, so we can use uh, uh, routines for updating daily tasks. Uh, so. So routines might not work if uh, if the updation or sending email uh, emails uh, in 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 real time. These are mostly like um, some of the background tasks at uh, 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 non real time, non real time, and uh, so whenever. Uh, um, so uh, whenever system has time, so uh, available time, so it will uh, it will run that time. So that is all about uh, routines. So for more, uh, check out this uh, Oracle documentation uh, regarding routines uh, for uh, for uh, for some some more explanation. Thank you.